the leather. You can see we've got some big old holes here, and that would have been caused by the fact the inside seam that's joining the two pieces of leather together had come apart at some point in its life, and Julia's father continued using them, and it was already weak, and so that leather just, the fibres broke down. The other thing that uh, I've noticed is that the woodworm have, have been having a field day on the wheels here. So really need to do something about stabilising this wood so it doesn't end up disintegrating down the road. I think the first thing I need to do is try to get these skates off and they are mounted on this metal plate here. So I'm hoping it's straightforward, but I've never done this before, so a little bit nervous. So what I have to do is get this screwdriver in place. And this is where it gets really awkward. I need like three pairs of hands to do this and then continue taking it off. So I've got everything on the plate loosened up and there you have it. Um, wow, look at that. So we've got 9R, so they're size nine and the right boot. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So now I've got the one boot apart, I need to do exactly the same to the other boot. So I'm just going to start cleaning the uppers of the boots, and the, and the uppers is, is the top part of, of your shoe or your boot. I think uppers and soles and heels. And you, uh, you think about the terms that we use, like, um, you know, if somebody's not doing very well financially, you, can, you may have heard the term, they're down on their uppers. And what that means is that they, they actually couldn't afford to get their heels real redone, so they've actually worn the heels right down to their uppers. Once the metal works had a clean-up too, Susie can address the woodworm holes in the wheels. The first stage is to inject them with wood hardener. You can actually see as it's travelling through the wood, that's where all these chambers that these little pesky woodworms have made. The second stage is filling the holes with melted wax. I found some old, old beeswax that dries incredibly hard, but getting it really liquid like this, it trickles down into the holes and plugs up uh, the void that's been left by the little woodworms doing their business, and then that helps to strengthen the wheel. Because it's a similar colour to the wood, you almost wouldn't know there were ever any holes there. With the woodworm treated, Susie can focus on her speciality, repairing the leather. There's one area that needs a lot of attention, and it is this back seam here can see over the years where the inner seam came apart, it, uh, it allowed all of this area to really crease up and that broke the fibres of the leather. So I've got all of this to, to repair. The best way to do this is to put a patch over this. So I've made a template using the other boot and transferred it to the, the leather I'm going to be using here. All I need to do now is, is to cut around it. So now I've got that cut out, I just need to prick mark around it, ready for me to start sewing onto the boot. Originally, the boots were sewn on a sewing machine and it's incredibly fine stitches, but very, very well-made boots. I'm, I'm really impressed. So this has been a pure pleasure to work on.